All right. So I'm not exactly sure why and at what point I became the person that has to fix everyone else's problems. Like, obviously, I'm big-brained and I have all the answers. But at the same time, can you not keep it together for 10 minutes? I feel like I'm watching toddlers. I leave the room for 30 seconds. Next thing, half of you are sticking crayons up your noses, and the other half are trying to run democratic elections or whatever this is supposed to be. Here's the thing. There's a lot of problems coming to light right now because we have widespread voter fraud and corruption. We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. So our democracy isn't working right now. But even when it is working, it's also not working. Because here's the real problem. The problem isn't that there's voter fraud or that there's people voting illegally or that there's vote counts being manipulated. The problem is people are voting. See, in America, we've been trying to fix our system, I suppose, by making voting a more and more inclusive process. We've had three different amendments. We've had three different amendments at this point that have expanded voting rights to more and more people so that right now everyone over the age of 18 can vote. And there's even some people right now trying to lower that age to 16. But the problem has never been that there's a certain demographic of people that's been excluded from the process. The question shouldn't be who should vote and how do we safeguard the process. The question should be, should people vote? Think about it. If you watched the video this far, I can only assume you have an IQ somewhere in the quadruple digits, which means that you know that most people are stupid, which is based, okay? Being stupid is epic, but we've created a system where we're asking stupid people to think and pay attention to current events and policy decisions and such. And we're just kind of trusting that they are, but they're not. They're busy watching some show that stopped airing 16 years ago. See, my faith in humanity will ping pong back and forth within the hour. One moment I'm driving down the road and I get to watch everyone in sync pull off to the side to let an ambulance pass. And then I say to myself, hey, I think we're gonna be okay. And then I get to the parking lot at my destination and then I realize, oh, we're very much not going to be okay. See, people are capable of reacting to the stimuli of a big red loud thing coming towards them. But that doesn't mean they're capable of properly conducting themselves in the presence of parallel lines. And that doesn't mean they're capable of making informed voting decisions. But even if we could somehow stop the stupid people from voting, we would still not be in the clear. Because as I've said before, just because you're smart doesn't mean you're not stupid. And either way, democracy is still a big conglomeration of promises that are not kept. What do we promise with democracy? Oh, in democracy, we all get a say. In democracy, we make the decisions. In democracy, we're in charge. One second, he's taking a sip for dramatic effect. Yeah, do you feel in charge? Do you feel like your voice is heard? Because at any moment through your voting process, some vote counter with a room temperature IQ can say to himself, huh, this piece of paper has boxes checked that I don't like. I don't like these boxes. How about ha ha trash mode with your opinion? And then there goes all of your political power. See, that's the thing. You have no power. Somebody is in charge and it's not you. Here's what we try to do. We try to get the best person possible into the position of the presidency. Even if we can, that person is only there for four to eight years. The process to get them there is slow, expensive, and cringe. And if we can get that best person in there, doesn't really matter. Their political power is still checked and balanced. If we can't get the best person and we're stuck with the other dude, we're stuck with them for four years. And the proper legal process to remove them from office is slow, expensive, and cringe. That's what democracy is. Slow, expensive, and cringe. What's the alternative? Thank you for asking. Well, what if instead of having a democratically elected president, what if we just had a king? Think about it. The king's a genius madman. We can just let him do his thing. We don't have to worry about it because he's got all the answers. But if on the flip side, he's not a genius and he's a total idiot, we can just kill him. We can just kill him. And that's not a radical take. That's what humans have been doing for literally thousands of years. And back when we had kings, I think we were vibing a little bit more. We had safer borders. We had stronger currencies. We had better aesthetics. I think everyone was vibing. Sometimes we would just go conquer other nation states just for craps and laughs. Maybe the king's doing it because he's on an ego trip. Doesn't really matter. Look how much fun these dudes are having. But again, if the king sucks, there's no long, drawn-out, painful political process to remove him. You just get a knock at your door. Oh, look, it's your neighbor. He's like, oh, hey there, guy. Everybody's kind of cheesed. So 
We're gonna go take some torches and pitchforks. That's such a stupid voice. We're gonna go take some torches and pitchforks, and then we're gonna go kill the king. Uh, we got a bunch of both, so whatever you want. The thing is, though, we're looking a little torch heavy on the ratio right now, so it'd be kind of cool if you took a pitchfork. See, that's another reason I don't trust smart people. If they're so smart, why don't we have data on the optimal torch to pitchfork ratio in an angry mob? Why is there literally no research on the subject? But either way, am I advocating for violence and the use of force to get your way politically? No. I'm just saying in a very technical standpoint, it's efficient. Like, you can't tell me it doesn't work. Also, let's be real. It's kind of trad. All right. <laughs> What's the song I want? Okay. No. Democracy doesn't work and voting is cringe. But for legal reasons. For legal reasons, everything I said in this video is an absolute joke. Thank you for watching. I think I might start doing more video. This is all a total train wreck. I'm just going to leave it in. I think I might make more videos where I talk about things that I think are cringe. If that sounds like something you might be interested in, maybe uh, leave a comment suggesting something that is cringe that you'd like a video about. If your comment's cringe, I'll make a video about your comment. And you don't want to see that. Also, I'll DDoS you. My dad works for Microsoft. I will ban your Xbox account.